Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. I wanted to mention the great benefit of having a power station on the do-it-yourself work site. I'm currently building a 20 by 30 workshop and I have been using the Anchor Solix Powerhouse 767 power station. This has a lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 2048 watt hours and has an impressive 2400 watt AC output. It's also got some DC output and a light bar, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. But I've been running my lights here to do my work, a fan, charging batteries, running power tools, and I even hooked this up to my main breaker box so that I can test out outlets here around the shop. So let's go ahead and talk about this power station and I will show you some of the uses for having it on the job site. Taking a look at the machine here on the front panel, it has a light bar up here on the top. I can press this button right here and it will do 2 watts on the low setting, 3 watts or 4 watts on the high setting and then you can turn it off. The display has a big 100% here because it is fully charged. If I want to turn on the car socket, I can click right there and it'll show that symbol. Turn that off. Now the DC output over here is automatically on whenever the screen is on so that's nice to see. If I turn on the AC outlets. It'll have the AC plug there, 60 hertz, and currently it'll run that for four days with the inverter just being on with no output. This plug right here is still 120, but it's designed to plug up to an RV camper. It's a 30 amp. Over here you've got four different AC outlets, and those are also going to produce 120 volt, 60 hertz, and between the four of them it can do 2,400 watts. Now something very unique to this machine is it has this handle that you push that button and bring it out. It's kind of like a suitcase handle, but that lets you roll this around. So it has these nice hefty wheels back here, and you can tell I've already been rolling this around quite a good bit. Uh, but it can also rest upright. So if I were to take this handle and pull this up, hopefully not drop it on the ground. There we go. So you can see that handle allows you to roll this around and uh, I've been surprised at just how sturdy this thing is. So it's very nice. Okay, so let's just see on the bottom real quick. Large rubber stoppers right there. A sticker with some information on it and then those nice plastic wheels. Both sides have lots of ventilation for whenever this unit gets going and gets a little heat to it. Now here on the back of the power station, I can release this little drawer here and it has the charging ports. So this is the AC input. The maximum is approximately 1400 watts. And over here is for your DC input for solar panels. There's also a fuse here in the middle. This little drawer is magnetically held together there. And if you want to extend your battery size, you can by adding more batteries right here with this little plug. Now the Anchor 767 power station has a UPS built into it and that means if you plug this up to grid power it will be able to pass through 1400 watts and as soon as you pull the plug or the power goes out it will within 20 milliseconds switch over to using the battery and inverter that's in here and whatever you're running will continue to go even if the grid is down. All right, let's step over here real quick and I will show you what I'm using this power station for here as I'm building my uh, 20 by 30 shop. First thing I have to say is that the carrying handle of this power station has been so nice. I have used it a lot. The power station weighs approximately 62 pounds, so it's just heavy enough that you don't want to be picking it up and hauling it around. All right, so let me get this turned on real quick. The first two things that I've been using here on the job site are work lights. Uh, these are actually filming studio lights, but I use them quite often here out in the build. So you can turn this on and that pops on immediately. The next thing I've been using is this box fan because it can get quite warm out here on a nice sunny day. So plug that up real quick. All right, got that going. Let me show you the watt value real quick. It's less than 100 watts. Got 93 watts right there, and it'll run that for 17 hours. I'm to the point in my build where I'm testing out the electrical system, so let's go ahead and move this power station over to my breaker box, 
and I'll show you one method that you can use to test out your circuits. I've got an extension cord where I have cut one end and the other side plugs into the power station. This is dangerous, so you notice that this is not plugged in and uh, YouTube will not let me say the word that is the name of doing this, but uh, just keep in mind that you never have it plugged in when you're working with these bare wires into your system. Uh, so essentially, I'm going to power up my main panel here, which is off grid, so there's nothing coming into it right now. And so my white wire is gonna go over to my panel over here on this side. The black wire is going up here to the main input lug. And the ground is going over here to one of these grounding screws. Now that I have my extension cord wired into my main breaker box here, I can take the other end of my power cord and plug it up into the anchor power station. So now my box is live up here. We can go over to an outlet and test out whether or not it is working properly. I've got a 200 watt LED panel I'm gonna use. So I can just plug this up here. There we go. That's coming on. So now I know that receptacle is working properly. There we go. All of my receptacles on this wall are working properly. Now a power station with 2,400 watts like this one can power much more than studio lights and a fan. So for instance, I've got a small router here. I can plug this up and run this. That was 517 watts, so you could run several of those at the same time. Or if you had that going and also say an angle grinder and all the lights and a fan, and you would still have power to spare. I've also used this for charging up batteries, which is a very valid thing. And uh, I even managed to get this power station to turn on my big chop saw, which had a surge of tw over 2,400 watts, but it brought it back down to about 1,200 once it was uh, going. So uh, you wouldn't be able to run anything else with this except for that one chop saw but it's nice to know that it will handle something with a load a little bit higher uh, for startup than the uh, 2400. Now the Anchor 767 does come with this little pouch and inside of here you have got a user manual and a warranty card. It also has an adapter so you can bring uh, five solar panels in to a single uh, charging port there. It's got your typical AC plug which will allow you to plug up to the grid power. And then it's got a car charger right here. And a couple quick specifications from the table here in the manual. Yeah, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 2,048 watt hours. The AC input is 120 volts, 12 amp max at 60 Hertz. And you've got uh, 1,440 watts max input and the AC input power with bypass mode is also that 1,440 watts, which means when you plug this up, you can have up to 1,440 watts coming out of the machine without it ever using the battery. But as soon as you use more than that, it's gonna have an issue. All right, the solar panel, you can do a thousand watt max. The car charging port, just means the output here, is 12 volt, 10 amps and the AC output is 2,400 watts max, and it has a UPS system of 20 milliseconds. You can discharge power from this unit from negative four degrees Fahrenheit up to 104 degrees, and it also can be charged anywhere from 32 degrees up to 104. The size, 20 inch by 15 inch by nine and a half inch, and it weighs 67 pounds. I thought it was 62 earlier, so. Having this carrying handle definitely gives you a good option for moving this around without having to pick up 67 pounds. When no longer in use, be sure to turn off the AC and that will save a tremendous amount of battery. The display will go dark. So in my opinion, having a power station on a job site is well worth it. First of all, it's quiet. You can run all kinds of things such as power saws, lights, charge batteries and not have to worry about the noise. But also, if you're gonna be using it inside, you don't have to worry about having the fumes fill the place that you're working at. So, very nice to have. I've been using a power station here to build this place now for about two months, and I have to say, I really enjoy it. 
If you want to check out more information on the Anchor 767 power station, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.